G'day, Stu from UAV Futures here, and today, well, this is actually just a little bit of a video for you guys because uh, I got a lot, of, a lot of feedback actually asking for some acro, sort of acro flight of the QX90, the a little tiny micro frame, micro sort of uh, quad that I got from Banggood last week. Uh, so I thought I'd take it out to the park or uh, down to the river and give it a bit of a fly, put it in acro mode and uh, see how she goes. Now, two things to note here that could probably improve uh, just how, I guess, a little bit shaky this footage is uh, right here. Number one, uh, it's still on clean flight, so I think if we flash this to beta flight, it would be going much smoother. And number two, I really need to replace some of these props because they're uh, really, really bent up and I guess uh, have some big scuffs and dints in the end of them, these tiny little props. So that is probably something I could do to improve, uh, improve its flight characteristics just drastically. Now, uh, it was a little bit windy, and flying around, I think uh, there's a couple of cheapy, cheeky flips and uh, some rolls, and I sort of started to get my confidence up a little bit. So at the start, I guess, like with any sort of quad, you take it out, and you sort of take it easy, and you ease into it. Uh, I tried to do a little backflip through this, uh, but it just doesn't carry the momentum. So as soon as I did the backflip, it pretty much stopped, and because it's, uh, it's so light at like 38 grams or something like that. It pretty much stops dead in its tracks when you do one of those flips. So uh, that was kind of interesting. It is very hard to carry any momentum with this quad. Uh, but overall, it was it was heaps of fun to fly around. I think uh, it's got plenty of speed, plenty of power, and uh, it's a very very stable little quad. Very very easy to fly. It was pretty it was pretty surprising actually. Uh, here I take it up, and I guess I'm just trying to do some little little rolls and uh, some little free fall parts. A bit of a slower roll to see just how it'll handle. You do need to sort of uh, beware that it doesn't have the best recovery time, so you will drop quite away before uh, these tiny motors are able to, to pick you back up. You definitely don't have very much thrust at all. But in saying that, look how much speed this thing can get. I don't even think this was flat stick. This was just sort of cruising along this path, and so I think this is awesome for a little 1S micro. It definitely does have some speed, so if you're a bit worried that maybe uh, you want something with a bit more power, don't worry because you can still hoon around with one of these things. There's Charlie. He was loving chasing it. He was having a blast having tons of fun. Um, I think coming up here, so, well that was a very close call, I think I have like a bit of a slow sort of stall or something like that. I know that one wasn't very, very slow. But um, somewhere I do have something where I go up a little bit and I guess I try to do a bit of a slower loop and see how that goes or a bit of a free fall. Or oh there we go, front flip. So uh, and a little bit of a recovery. Timed that well actually, that made me look like a good pilot. Uh, I think that was 20% skill and 80% luck right there. But yeah, definitely check this out uh, because it does have full acro capability and it was a ton of fun to fly around. Anyway, uh, I got this stuck in a tree in a minute, so I'll leave you with a bit of that footage of me trying to get it down. But uh, subscribe for more FPV related content <clears throat> and as always, happy flying. Something to note as well, uh, I didn't realize it until I watched back this footage, but Charlie, he's, he's sort of just playing with the quad, but he makes it do a little flip right there. So uh, good job, uh, dog, making it flip over like that. And then this last little bit, this is uh, just me hooning around, or I guess not really hooning, just putting around, and then uh, just boom, straight into this tree. So uh, those ghost branches got me a little bit there. But uh, luckily, or, or somewhat amusingly, uh, it was still, the camera was still pointed down at where I was flying. So I, I found that pretty cool. I went and got my wife's drink bottle and decided to throw it up to get it down. Good little tip too, never disarm straight away if you get stuck in a tree like that. Always see if you can get it down, especially if it's up really high because sometimes you can cut yourself free or uh, sort of, you don't want to burn out a motor, but definitely give it a little bit of a stick uh, before you totally disarm because some flight controllers will not arm unless they're perfectly level. So I'm trying to sort of shake it free here, but uh, unfortunately I have no luck. Once I saw how stuck it was, I realized I needed to throw something at it. Uh, look how many dogs turn up here in a minute too, so it's probably a uh, good timing that it got stuck in a tree because I'm sure maybe one of them might have chomped this down. Uh, now, if you've got any comments or anything like that that you want to drop down below, definitely do that because this was actually a little video I made for you guys because uh, I got such, a, I guess, a good response and uh, request to do some acro footage with this. So uh, this was all because of you guys, so if you want me to do any other videos if you've got it, or you've got any other ideas, definitely just stick them in the comments below and I'll do my best uh, to sort of get one of those videos made. Anyway, subscribe for more FPV related content, and as always, happy flying! Uh, sometimes. <laughs>